How's it going, guys? This is Bailey with Rogers Performance Marine, and I finally got my new boat in for 2022. Uh, this is a 2022 1875 crossover. Uh, we're going to be using this at the dealership all through the 2022 season, uh, taking customers out, showing them all about the crossover. We're going to be using it for our own uh, knowledge, and so we can be up to date with all the uh, electronics, with the fish finders, trolling motors, um, and then just the overall product with Lund. Um, so again, we're going to run this boat all season. We'll have it on some pretty big lakes, Lake Powell, Lake Mead, a lot of our local lakes, San Hollow, Quail Lake, and then our northern Utah lakes as well. Um, prime, the, the reason we get this boat every year is so, one, we can take customers out, show them the crossover, show them, you know, Lund build quality and the overall fit and finish of the boat. And then two, uh, so we can educate ourselves with the boat. We can be, make sure we're up to date with the fish finders, with the trolling motors, all the electronics. Um, you know, if we see any improvements that may need to be uh, made, we can send our feedback to Lund. Um, and then it's another way for us and our employees to get out on the water as well. Um, we went with the 1875 crossover this year uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's one of our number one selling boats in this area. Uh, two, it's one of the most versatile boats that Lund makes, you know. Some of our employees are going to take this out fishing. Some of our employees, they're just going to go out and they're going to water ski and pull the kids around on a tube uh, for the day. And this is the perfect boat for it. I mean, the crossover, the name says itself. Uh, for the family that wants a boat that's going to be 60, 70 percent fish, the crossover will handle that. Or for the family that wants to go out and again, uh, tube, ski, wakeboard, crossover will do that as well. Um, you'll notice uh, we package this one with 175 horsepower Mercury Pro XS. That is max horsepower for this uh, boat package here. Um, we've got a 99 Mercury Pro Kicker, the new four-stroke EFI series uh, outboard on the way. So we'll have that set up for some trolling. Um, we did run all Humminbird and Minn Kota electronics on that, on this boat right now. Uh, currently, we've got a Helix 7 Mega Down Imaging with GPS on the uh, console and then a 24-volt uh, Minn Kota Tarova on the bow. Uh, we'll probably take and move this 7 up to the bow and put a larger graph on, whether it's a 9 or a 10, I'm not sure yet. Um, so as we're doing that, we'll show you some videos, maybe how we do the installation of the fish finder on the bow, how we're going to link them together. Um, we're going to do a lot of videos with this boat just to show you more than, you know, what you're seeing in the boat. We're going to go over the electronics. We're going to go over, um, you know, downriggers, trolling motors, fish finders. We're going to get into the break-in procedure of the motor talk about propping what's going to be the best prop for you at this with this boat package with the motor um, and at our altitude too um, so if you're following these videos looking at this boat whether you're looking at a crossover or you're only interested in the hummingbird electronics and encode electronics or the mercury power uh, feel free to reach out to us if there's some content you want to see um, you know whether it's motor specific electronic uh, specific just let us know we'll try and make some content that helps educate you guys on Lund boats as well as the uh, components that come with them so we're going to start getting this boat ready for the water and hopefully get some good videos for you guys all right, here's a quick look at the interior. Again, this video is not going to be to walk you through the crossover model itself. It's just kind of show you what we've got in this boat. If you're looking at ordering a crossover, you can see the way we ordered it from the factory. Then we'll go over some changes we're gonna make, some upgrades we're gonna add to it, um, and then just show you what this boat's like on the water. Um, so right now, just a brief walkthrough. Like I say, we've already got the Helix 7 Mega Down Imaging on the console. That was part of the fish ready package from Lund. Most likely gonna move that up to the bow. Um, Minn Kota trolling motor on the bow. It's got a three bank battery charger on it. Um, we did all air ride seats. Um, we did the upgraded bucket seat. I'll attach our build sheet to this uh, boat in the video so you can see exactly how we ordered it from Lund. And then any upgrades that we do to it, we'll talk about that, where we got them from. Uh, why we chose what we chose, um, and try to be as in-depth for you guys as possible as we're making a series of videos on this boat. Um, so yeah, we're going to get things going and get this ready for you guys.